got a lot of requests to check out Inca today. That's what we're gonna be doing. I haven't played these guys as, as of yet, so we're gonna be starting as Cusco just because I like I like the name Cusco. I don't know if there's a preferred starting nation down here or what the case may be, but Cusco sounds like a cool one. I guess they have Machu Picchu, so that's a bonus. So it looks like the reforms are similar to what they used to be. So ten cities, step one, authority a hundred. I think you get authority from just having provinces or something like that. Do we have claims or do we have to fabricate like primitives? Fabricating is such a lost art in this game. It's rare that you play a nation that actually has to get claims anymore. I'm just gonna grab the free company and I'll do estates. We'll just do a standard estate set. Here are my estates. I don't know why I got dead to the burgers. Didn't really need to. Let's just have it. Go ahead and seize land. Hiring up the free company. I'm hoping that this gives us claims just for having an army, right? Or yeah, I'm sure, sure it will. You know, this is 2024 Europe, but we don't fabricate claims. Go ahead and grab that. So yeah, we, we basically need to form Inca before 1480 or, or we don't get the good bonuses and we're, and we're a failure. That's what it's telling me. Where are my claims? Ah, uh, yes, claims. Yeah, it's, it's so strange when you play a nation that doesn't get claims these days because it feels like everybody gets claims. Anyhow, that guy has a thousand allies. Do I have like a... Where's Montezuma? Oh, no. How am I going to get carried by Montezuma now? I see. I already have Montezuma. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and declare we're on Kala. Shouldn't be too hard. Easy battle here. They are recruiting more guys though, it's kind of annoying. There's no sack wiping, apparently. I'm not good enough. I hate how my general is so much faster than my secondaries. That's probably why I'm not getting sack wipes, is because the one unit is so much faster than the other. I'm gonna go for this battle, I hope I'm better. Oh, it's a mountains, of course I'm better. So I could get the other guy out of the war, probably. It'd be pretty aggressive. I don't know how AE is gonna work in this region. So I hesitate to just take things non cobligerated just because I don't know. So I'm debating whether to take provinces non cobligerated I think it's going to be bad, because that's 24 AE, and that seems bad to start off with 24 AE immediately. Maybe I'll just have him break alliance with, I don't know, not Kala, because he's about to be dead, but maybe Chakpoya and Ichma. I like butchering names, guys. It's kind of a kind of my thing. All right, so this war should be well in hand. So we'll grab Fulanization from Kala, and that gives us a mission to defy the Kulans. I don't know how to say these. It's so weird. All the pronunciation in this game is it's too hard. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll take the authority. I don't think I care about accepting a culture. And I'm on the clock or something. And I got Rule of the Sun for getting authority here, so... National Tax Mod for 30 years. Vampire, a little bit of Lost War Exhaustion. I don't mind. I'm, it sounds like they just want me to kill people with my mission tree, more or less. Murder everyone. I can do that. Go ahead and declare war on Pages, Packages, Packages, and Cal Kalchaki. I'm, it's got to be close. The, cal the, the second one had to be close, okay. Authority or for unrest? I don't actually know if that's good or bad. Let's take it. I don't know how hard authority is to get, so maybe it's good. I'm pretty sure everything in this entire region is the mountains, so you almost always want to take defensive forts or defensive battles. Like, yeah, it's just mountains, mostly. Mountain simulator. What do you want from me? 80% favorable answer. It's the question, though. Like, they should tell you the question before they tell you there's going to be a favorable answer. What if I don't want a favorable answer? But I guess we'll just travel to the Oracle. Okay, cool. Free stability. Maybe I'll boost my stability first for max. I guess the question was, do you want a stability? Chief conspiring. 50% chance, but I'm a streamer, so it'll be like zero. Ha! Ah, yes. I'm gonna make these guys attach so I can stop running in alone. Okay, easy stack pipe there. I'm gonna put my general in the army. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it feels better, okay? Maybe I'll deattach here and do a little bit of a sieging. I start with a pretty good ruler, actually, as the Kuskins, the Kuskinese. Okay, we need to run to the capital. Please don't get the 21%. Please, yes, they they failed. I'm gonna have full annexation from these guys. Bit of money. And we are looking good. Could reduce war exhaustion a little bit. Obviously, these wars are pretty easy. This seems super, super easy, right? I guess we should gain authority for unrest. I don't know, rebels are... Not that bad to deal with. We need 100 authority to do things. Pro I don't think we lose provinces in this region. I think it's just like, you fight rebels and then you fight more rebels. I don't know if getting mill here is the way. Like if you're supposed to dev or something, but... I'm just gonna grab mill too. But I may find out later that wasn't the right choice. Seize land here. I'm kind of just focusing my efforts on attacking south first. Because it seems convenient. Kind of focus down one side then focus the other side. I've only, I feel like I've almost conquered like half of what's possible to conquer. What's this true send? Not till 54. I'm not waiting till 54 or so. I'm just going to go ahead and go to war with Charka. 
Okay, I got the stack wipe on his friend. Lose 60 ducats for a temple. Seems fine. I'll just go ahead and assault here. Can I do anything with my merchant? No. Okay. They're just gonna leave the icon there to bug me. At this point, I think I'll just take the province, even if it's aggressive. I'm kind of thinking, like, what are they gonna be able to coalition me? Not really. Maybe. I, I don't know. There's not that many of them already. I feel like I could just beat them. These guys seem supremely easy. But that's just at first glance. I'm not sure. You know, we'll see. Just my early impressions are that they're very, very easy. Some of separate peas. Wonka, Polonization. Even though I didn't cut Bligerate, I'm hoping it's going to be fine. It also gives us a mission that gives us a lot of permaclaims. I could have had nice things, man. I should read things before I click them. But apparently if you're focusing something, you get some bonuses for 25 years. Unlucky. Why can't they give you something if you have nothing focused, okay? Like, come on. Mission tree is targeting me if you're being lazy. Polonization with Charka. And still no coalition. We're not very aggressive or anything, so it's fine. And we got this mission here, which gives us 10 authority. Allow for colonization of who knows. Could be anywhere. I genuinely do not know where those regions are. They're probably not in Europe, though, is what I would guess. Yeah, I'm just going to declare on Hula. Wait. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize it was going to be worth this person. It's fine. I thought the secondary target was this person, but it's actually this person. Ooh, that's a lot of guys. Um, maybe I should do something about that. I need the silver company. I, I really want the gold company, man. Why would I want the silver company? Uh, this is the mountains, isn't it? Of course it is. What am I joking? I'm going to die there. Oh, am I, am I better? Oh, I just outskilled him. I meant that I had the mountains and it was, you know, I wasn't worried at all. They don't even punish you for mistakes here. It's, you know, I love it. I could have sold, but it's probably a bad idea. It, they have a real fort. They have a real TP. Oops. I mean, planned. Uh, th these wars are so easy. Not that they were hard before. I don't remember. I, I feel like they were always easy, right? So how do you actually form the Empire of the Incas? Do you have to have all the debt, all the... You just have to own stuff and you, you can... Okay, so you don't have to get all your reforms. You just have to have a bunch of land. That's easy. Oh, by 1480? They give you so much time. You could probably do it by 1460. So I'm going to fully annex both these guys in the war. Looks good to me. That's the mission here. We're going to get 20 power projection and... Admin tech costs and diplotech costs at the end of the game. I'm going to pick this top option that let us integrate their cultures with ours. We lose some stab costs, but we gain tech costs. Now there's three nations left. Well, Musica, if, if you count him, but he's kind of hiding. So I'm going to declare war on Ichma. I'll just co everybody. I'll leave one troop here so they can't recruit. And I'll, set, I'll move the rest out to fight. Oh, this might be bad. I mean, I'm broken OP, okay? <laughs> I think it's because I've milled two and they're not. And apparently there's a massive gap because they're getting crushed. That being said, this nation is insanely easy. Why don't they tell me what's going to happen here? They're just like, there's a 65% chance that something is approved. A suitable wife? Like, what? what's the negative consequence? Okay, it's approved, even though it was low chance. Oh, perfect. Thanks for telling me in advance. We're going to be fully annexing everybody and then vassalizing the guy up here because we can't reach him. All right, I got this mission here that seems to do nothing. Well, not nothing, but it's not crazy so it allows for the colonization of something and something and something uh be a decision no musica please i don't deserve this there's no way i'm gonna make it there in time wait he failed the seven percent oh yes there's mercy he's keeps failing the seven percent fifty percent chance more like zero that's twice i'm better and i have made it in time this campaign is blessed but he can run into the woods you hate to see that i max on points again why am i like this i just don't know what to do with my points if there's something i'm supposed to do like if I was the Aztecs, you kind of want to save them, but I don't really know if that's the case here. I guess I should reduce war exhaustion because I have the core things, so. Oh, I shouldn't have got my admin level. I'm an idiot. I do that so much in E4 in general. Just like, about to need the core stuff, tech up immediately. Don't think about it. Going to end the war with these two guys, full exhaustion. And that is going to grab this mission here, which is contact the Oracle. The local autonomy to zero. It looks like the only missions we didn't do are... Something. Oh, we got a dev. Yeah, that, that. I'm not surprised I didn't do that mission yet. I didn't encourage dev, but you guys will. Okay. So I can pass a reform. I guess I'll do the colonist because it sounds like I have some colonist stuff I can do. I take a two stab drop and civil war. Wow. The dream. Authority goes down to zero. Feels bad, man. Okay. What is this super thing, though? What does this do? I still can't do this? Why? Any of the provinces. Oh, I haven't picked a policy for real this time. I'm guessing I should just do the murder policy because I'm here and there's no excuse to not. 
I feel like the murder policy is just a matter of if you can mentally handle not being lazy. A lot of times that's a no. I'm probably gonna get a lot of rebels. But yeah, I just have to like get a lot of authority, which I get a lot. I get a decent bit just by doing nothing. But I could lower autonomy for more, I suppose. I still can't use this. Like, what do they want from me? I can literally like, what do they want from me? I don't get it. Parkwood army there? I Okay. I just don't, I don't, I, again, I've never played these guys. So I don't really understand. I'm not sure why I can't do this. Let's try again. My question is like, if I press that button, will it colonize everything at once? Or what does it do? That's not the one, but, um... Does it cost 50 per one, or does it just cost 50? That's super rough. If I can colonize everything at once, that seems ridiculous. We're gonna go around and attack natives everywhere, because I think we could just colonize like a thousand things at once. Oh, only ones that listed? Well, I'm just gonna do it to everyone because I don't know which provinces would be listed. So that seems like a fine solution. Just attack natives everywhere seems easier than trying to figure out which ones it actually is. And that way I, I won't have any problems with future colonization as well. But honestly, not, not a bad nation to learn the game on, actually, because you have really easy wars and that sort of thing. Yeah, so we, we've murdered all the natives on anything that borders us. We're going to click this button now. It's not going to colonize everything. I just have to keep clicking it, maybe. Can I go here now, or do I have to, like, get the connecting path first? Oh, I can just go now. This is so cool. I love it. They give you a way to murder Musica if you wanted to. So I'm going to get to this last colony so I can just finish that situation up. My leader's dead. They get crown land? What is this? That seems stupid. I'm seizing the land before that event happens. They're trolling. Alright, it's all attack natives here. Alright, so that should be the last time I can do that. Yeah, so we, we've ventured as far as we can venture, which is pretty far. But we do have the yeah, we can we can do this thing here now where we form into the Incas. So we might as well. We become an empire now. We got a big old mission tree now. Whoa. This seems similar in some ways to the Aztec mission tree though. What I can tell. What would happen if you formed into the Aztecs as Inca? I'm sure you could. And I'm sure it would break things. Eddie out. Yeah, so we have like a bunch of these like frontier like colonies that we aren't paying for, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to dev for the institution or if I can. Seems like I can't. You probably want to save up max points if that's the case. I'm probably going to have to fight a war against Portugal or something eventually. I don't know. Who knows? I probably should lower autonomy because it does increase my authority. I'm not sure how else to do that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just going to decrease the timing because it gives me authority. Second reform here. I'll do the manpower recovery speed. So we have some more rebels that are going to pop up. Looming disaster, the peasants war. Oh no. You hate to see that. Now I have lowered autonomy everywhere. It's going to piss off my nation, but I mean, what? What? it's fine, I guess. 15,000 rebels. I mean, that's, that's not that bad. It could be worse. The peasants war is kind of a concern, but I mean, it probably won't happen. Okay, so it gives us some authority. I think, yeah, I think we'll take the bottom option for the authority. And Splendor, I suppose. Can get the colony developed boost? I don't know if that affects colonies that are already worked on. I wonder I wonder how that works. Probably not. I don't know how that works, though. Maybe it does. Because when you reform, you get a bunch of tech anyway, so it's kind of a waste to upgrade your tech unless you need to, I feel like. I could be wrong, of course. We'll go ahead and pass the next reform. Morale of armies. That'll wreck our stability again, but maybe we shouldn't have done that because... That we're, we're going to be back into the Peasants' War. That's fine. It's just a Peasants' War, after all. I always thought this was a really weird mechanic. Like, you have to Rebel Sim as your, like, punishment for passing a reform. 80%. Like, what what does this mean, man? Last time it gave me stability, so maybe it'll do that again. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's a good thing to be favorable towards. Sure. But, yeah, that's how, that's how these reforms seem. I guess we could dev a little bit. I feel like it's not important to tech up at all so let's just dev a little bit the gold no i don't want that <laughs> no i should probably get level one advisors as well i don't i don't see why not we gotta annex this guy someday i guess i mean we don't have to but probably should can you tell me what this means game i don't know what the integration of Mu customs is let's see if i can find the modifier oh it's the sab cost cost you know honestly i'll take the bottom option i i don't even i kind of don't like that you get like, stab cost is bad. Especially because I have to stab up a thousand times. Because, you know, I constantly have to click the you lose stab button. Let's see if it tells me what I get authority from. Oh, wow, that guy's disinherited. Okay, so I've completed this mission where I have 70 provinces. 70, oh, 70 development with gold provinces, I see. These trees are so big, it's honestly hard to find what mission you did sometimes. All right, it just allows colonization of more colonies. 
Venture into the colonies. This is hilarious. They just give you free colonies. Oh my goodness. Wow. I, I don't know what to think about this. It's so broken. I'm going to attack more natives here. To be fair, it is a bit of money, but not, I mean, not really. So we can venture. We, we need more. Oh my gosh. How much further can you go? This is nutty. Man, they made these nations so broken. They're like, would you like to colonize the entirety of the Incas? Yeah, I think that would be nice. <laughs> sure, I'll take that. I don't really want to tech up. Unless I have to. We're just going to continue to venture into our lands here. Oh, where can we even go now? Oops. I can't even... It's not telling me. Can I not see it? Is it just further south? I don't know. Oh, I don't have the money, but... Hey, it's Portugal. Why is he here so early? It's 1470. What the hell, Portugal? It's 1477. What are you doing here? Okay, we're almost capped on Milligan. I'm just going to get some generals. Got this mission done here. What does this do? Oh, okay, cool. They're going to screw me over less and only remove 80 authority. Cool. They get max effect of absolutism? That's crazy. Interesting. Okay. I'll max on military again. Stop it. I'm annoyed. So I don't really know what to do, but like, just chill. What am I supposed to really do but chill at the moment? I'm not sure. It seems like I just have to AFK. I guess I leave my maintenance on, but yeah, it just seems like I just have to AFK. High speed and chill. I thought there's a slight problem with some of these nations is that you don't have anything to do until the Europeans arrive. You know, you're done and you don't have much to do. I only lose one stability now, so that's slightly better, I guess. Got a mission done. What is this? Okay, so this is somewhat of a colonizer mission, but permanent settler chance is actually pretty nice. And, you know, we'll take some crown land, I suppose. Seems like a random modifier, but hey, Portugal's here. If only Portugal would colonize. I'm going finish my reforms anyways, but I mean, it's around the corner. Oh yeah, there's more rebels. I, I figured there's always two groups, so. I keep being maxed on points, but I'm kind of like there's no point to tech up because I'll just be sharing check tech, so. Yeah, I don't know, just like dev gold or something. It's awkward, I don't really know what to do with my points. Definitely feels like I've been doing not too much for the last several years. But yeah, I, I will annex Musica, because why not? I'm just waiting for my last reform though. It's like, I don't want to spend that much points because I'm going to, you know, I'm going to share the reforms later. So I guess I just dev crown land or something. I could, I guess I could boost stab. It's kind of like a, what do you do with your points? Because you're going to, you're going to get, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. You like want to be at max points when you get reformed, I feel like. But yeah, it's just kind of awkward. Hey, I got a mission done an accident. Apparently I devved mountains 20 times. We'll go ahead and pass the last reform now. We got our last reform passed. Of course, we just have to wait until someone with the institution shows up. And we keep getting max on points, but I'm trying to save my points for when they do arrive. So I'm kind of just like at a loss of what to do with my points. You know, trying to get like professionalism, trying to figure something out. But there just doesn't seem to be like a lot to do with my points. I'm just struggling to know what's like effective to do with my points. Like dev gold to 10 maybe. Like it won't be good now, but it'll be good later. I'm, I'm kind of just at a, like a waiting period. I don't really have anything going for me. I could attack here, but it's like, do I care? I guess I lower my inflation, but I don't really have much to do. I feel like a lot of these new nations are like this, where you're just like, they're too easy now to the sense that you are just so, you know, you're, you're going to be sitting around doing waiting because you're, you know, you're like done with the mini game that the, that the game provides you at the start. The reform mini game. I have 41 professionalism just because there's nothing better to do with my points. Dev crown land. I don't know. I'm going to murder Mupuchi because there's nothing else for me to do. I do have 3,000 ducats, though. You know, it's nice. I guess I could get higher level advisors. But I already have too many points. That's just going to be more points I don't know what to do with. Is it really worth it? All right, I'm just going to annex this guy. So long, sucker. Not again. No. It's miserable. I keep getting capped on points. What do you want from me, game? I'll just dev the gold, I guess. I don't even care to encourage dev. At least if I don't encourage dev, I don't have to deal with it for longer periods of time. If you think about it that way. So guys, I'd recommend this high altitude adaption before 1503. I just discovered it now. But apparently it, it um does something good. I don't know what it does. This is the dev cost penalty. Oh, cool. It helps out a lot. If only I listened to the chat sooner. But it's okay. I mean, I don't, you know, I, I don't regret that. Not bad. I'll take that. Suppose I should be mothballing my forts. I'm not doing anything. Why did I lose money when I started mothballing forts? Because I got crouched at the same time, I guess. What I probably should do here is... Be less lazy, get like a normal army, and then get rid of mercs. Just be a little bit less lazy. Like I'm not, we're not going crazy or anything. Honestly, if I find it hard to be that engaged because there's so nothing going on right now. 
yeah, apparently I have to play tall in this campaign because they don't do anything, man. Not bad, gave one admin. Now they're at 566. Normally I would never dev gold like this, but I just literally don't know what to do with my points. So we have like literally every gold mine is 10, I think. No, I maxed on points again. What do you want from me? I'll crew another 15 guys. I'll be a little over the force limit, but I don't think they'll attack me because I have so many guys. Or maybe they will and it'll be an interesting war. How long have I been capped on points? I think it's a while, right? <laughs> I think it's a while. But everyone's kind of being quiet, so it's kind of... I, I appreciate you guys. France! My boy! Where the hell is Portugal or Spain? Why is France the first person to get here? There's hope, bad guys. There's hope. I see signs of hope. We might have a future after all. What, you, what is this? What did I do? Oh, yes. I defeated them. Sure. I call myself slow, though. Can you move here, buddy? And I'll, we'll go to war. Listen, you need to move to there. I, I'm very professional at this point, right? I've been waiting so long for them to show up that my troops are... I, I have insane professionalism. I know I'm Captain Points, guys. I know. I know. It's misery. We're almost free, though. I have 79% crown land. That's how bad... That's how long I've been devving for. And, like, you know, all this bullshit. It had to have been 80 years since I've been in a war, right? <laughs> like, legit. I think it's been, like, 80 years. That's so miserable. We're 96% professionalism. I'm trying to not be back some points, but man, it's hard. I want to be like close though. Hey, France, do you want to be my friend? Oh my God, he's here. He moved. It's war. Call it everybody. I want all 80, I want all 100,000 people up there. Let's go to war. <laughs> Kill him before he moves. Quickly now, quickly now. Okay, I got to declare I want war on this guy to make him move. That's my province. I'm not sure which will finish faster, like this coring. All right, so I'm just going to take this province. Can I annex him? No, I don't, I don't care. Okay. I'm just going to take his one province, and that way I can core it. So at the very latest, we can reform in two years. Yeah, I don't care about the call anymore. Good. I don't care. Yeah, abandon. I don't care. I'm capped on everything, but I don't... Fine, I'll just I'll just max my professionalism. Then we can dev a little bit for crown land. It's hard to even spend all your points, because I'm trying to not be... Like, I feel like it's wasteful to tech up, because you're going to get free tech levels. So that's kind of my logic there. Like, why would you do it? But I got War Score Cost for Southern Religions as my age ability, so that's, that's nice. But yeah, I've not gone to war for just so long. Just an uh, outrageous amount of time. I'm just going to sit on cap points at this point, because we're about to reform. I've already dabbed every province, every gold to 10. I've already... I, there's just so much stuff I've already done that I don't really care to... I'd rather just have the max points. So when this core is up, we can play the game. So that core up, we can reform our religion, which will give us... This will give us 16 technologies. So that's nice. And we'll go ahead and tech up our mill. So we're only slightly behind his. He's 11. We're just shy of 11. So it's not too bad. And of course, we are going to be high American tech now. So we can do combating the disease. I guess we can't do high American tech. But we don't have enough. We don't have 75 provinces. We're not cool. Maybe if I would have colonized, I would have, I would have had those by now. It's funny because it's true. I'm going to grab the reform religion thing here. And that is going to... Make this giant sun appear. And the sun does things. What does this do? Wow, you can just get pretender rebels? Wow. That's so cool. You can rebel them on demand now. I have no idea what this does. It seems like you just get some positive effects. What does the red button do? Lose 75 authority? You could get CCR 10% and that until my ruler's death. Oh, I see. But not bad gets plus 111. Not bad the first gets plus 111. You had their idea at 566, so it would not be worth it. All right, guys. I'm going to pick military engineering because I'm addicted to barraging. And yeah, I think innovative is a great... Just kidding, guys. C come on. So I have no idea what to pick as ideas. Look at the income from gold. Holy. That is insane. That makes 75 a month from gold. So I think we have to take exploration. Otherwise, we'll never be in range to get to Europe. But other than that, I think... I have no idea, actually. Maybe religious or admin makes sense. I had to insult Portugal because he was so damn slow. I'd had to. All right. So I think we just invest straight into ideas then with our points. So I'm just going to waste, I mean, use my points to get tech. I mean, ideas. Yeah. So I've, I've just kind of gone straight for ideas here. I, I don't know if it's the way, but it's my way. Okay. So we've wasted all our points. I, I, I've not literally wasted. We've used all our points and we're not ready to for whatever comes next. We should have been colonizing because 
We actually could have been high American tech by now, except that we didn't colonize, and so we don't have enough cities, which is kind of funny in its own right. Like, because I was lazy, I won't be able to get high American tech yet, but it's kind of deserved. Mission tree is so big, it's hard to know where, what you've done. Okay, I did it. Average, oh, is a great power. Average autonomy less than 15. Oh, okay, cool. And gov cap, 10% till end of the game. Thanks, guys. I think Inca has kind of mediocre ideas. Not gonna lie, like their national ideas are not that great. They're not dangling tag, are they? That'd be kind of tragic if they were. So I'm gonna declare war on Chara, just because I need some more provinces. I can get a Kinkisador though, so we can get some vision and stuff. Oh, he's an OPM. No, he's an OPM, how tragic. Can I get the like frontier thing that the other guys have, or is that only for the other guys? I want a frontier. I just don't know if they, I don't know if they do that. One of the following five provinces with grain, are dev to f wow they really want you to dev don't they it's kind of misery i hate dev missions so much oh my god they're all so low dev too it's just not worth doing i think i've decided that i don't need to do that mission it's not it's not good 100 dev it, it wh why this mission tree is just like dev 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 and upgrade great projects that you would ne otherwise never upgrade like really you want me to get local goods produced plus one like come on do you think I care about local goods produced? No, I don't. I, I don't. You're not, you're not going to force me to do that. I won't do it. Finally, something to do. Thank God. It's France. Everybody run. Guys, I wasn't ready for this. But don't worry. I'll put my multiplayer skills to use here. Ready for my multiplayer skills here? This is where we become a multiplayer enjoyer right here, okay? Slow it down. Slow it down. Chill out. Okay. I'll see you later, buddy. I'll see you back here in a, month, in a month. He's probably gonna travel, like, through the freaking wasteland, and he's, he's gonna show up right here and start sieging. Carpet sieging, I bet. That's what I'm calling it. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna finish having ideas, and we're almost done with exploration as well. I need to keep colonizing so I can eventually get high American tech. Apparently he'll be back, right? He's a tech level above me, but not for long. I'm just worried that he's gonna show up on the back side. Or he's never showing up, I, I don't know. That could be possible too. We got mil 12 as well, so we're not like that worse. Portugal, my friend. Yes, there's land to get down there. Like I could get my high American tech from that guy. I'm gonna seize this colony when it's closer. All right, so exploration and Avon are officially done. Could probably start exploring, might as well. This war with France isn't really doing, nothing's really happening. He's just doing nothing. Classic war against the a European. Loses one battle and he's gone. He's just out. Like, where did you go? Are you, did you give up? Is it over? I guess we'll get our policy here. But yeah, li literally there's like, France is AFK. Declares war and then goes AFK immediately. Classic move. Yeah, I'm gonna go over and seize that colony now, I guess. You, you were doing great in the colonization, okay? I do appreciate it. Tech 10, and I have to pick another idea group. But I guess it's diplomatic. Probably diplomatic. I don't know. So there's, I guess we'll just... War reps, money, and take this one province from France because there's nothing else for me to do. No, I'm not within range to do anything else, so it's all good. But I do see some friends down here that I could possibly go to war with. So I have a fabricated claim down here, and I could send a bunch of guys down there to fight him. We're still trying to colonize a little bit here and there. It should have been better with my colonization, to be fair, but I'm trying to make up for lost time or something. Go ahead and declare war on Rio de Prata. And, I, I, you know, I'll focus Diplo, just because I need to get through another Diplo idea. But I will go ahead and go to war with Portugal's colony. I always think it's a curious mechanic that it doesn't call an overlord. But I guess that's just how it works. So, we could end the war here. We'll go ahead and just take most of this guy's promises. I'll leave him alive to let him continue to colonize for me. And also, I can steal maps from him, so it, it doesn't seem like a terrible option to leave him alive. But I've, I've got the Punishing Invaders mission done. And we can choose missionary strength, cup cap, or just go high American. I prefer just to grab the high American tech straight away, because then you get the broken units. Grab my next government reform. We'll pick royal decree. I feel like the Inca are just so easy. It's a little boring. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of the feel I get of them from playing right now. Like it's just so easy. It's too easy. Like I, I have high American tech with max professionalism. You know, 75% crown land. Like. We, I have 13,000 ducats I don't even know what to do with. It just is so easy. This feels like a nation that's like intended for beginners. Yeah, now we're getting some inflation. 0.25 a month. Oh my god. That's pretty brutal. Oh, sorry. No, a year. Sorry, a year. 
These guys just seem like they're worse than the Aztecs. I'm just looking. At, I'm kind of looking through because I'm, I'm kind of. I kind of want to call it for this g campaign. This nation doesn't seem not for me. Maybe I feel like they're just too powerful. Is there anything I'm missing that's like cool about these guys that I, that I didn't see? Oh, they can do the overseas colonies thing. They they just can't do the charter. They can't do the the American frontier thing. Honestly, I think I liked Inca prior to the changes more because they weren't so brokenly strong, and that's more engaging to me. Right now, they just feel like they're so easy. That's just my two cents. Like, I don't feel like anyone could really compete with me. I think we're going to call it there. We are pretty strong. We're number four great power.